So hi guys, it's Graham. This is an addition to my lithophane video that um, I wanted to cover a little bit about the uh, LED backlights that I use. And one of these things that I do is that, for instance, some of you may have, uh, this is a photo frame panel that's uh, no longer any good. You might have an old laptop that uh, is, uh, is broken or there are lots of people are selling old laptops, 10 inch screen displays or whatever. What I'm really saying is don't just throw them out. Um, if you're into making lithophanes or anything like that, you can actually quite often salvage the LED backlight out of them and uh, this one I'm going to pull apart. This is um, not got screws in it. Some of them have screws in the back. You've just got to figure it out based on the one that you've got. But this one I find that I've got to use my little um, advantage tool here to be a little brutal but also a little careful about without trying to jam this into my hand just being a little bit aggressive here. I'm just working my way around the edge to, to get this apart. I'll only get one chance at this. This one is obviously clipped together. I've got to that point. Okay, so we're gonna break this apart. And uh, there you can see there's a little bit of electronics in there. But basically, this is the bit that we want, this um, back panel. So we're not going to use any of, the, any of the electronics that are in here. So we can just pull that connector out. And this one, that um, if I can see, show you properly, that's going to be the power connector. And most of these these days are 12 volts. Some of the uh, earlier computers and displays used a high voltage fluorescent um, light behind them that requires a little bit of electronics with it but if you're really using one of these and I've probably had this for probably about three years now don't know that it's got it's from China bought it off eBay um, says the DC power for this is five volts so chances are this display panel might be a five volt one but I'll uh, check that out first some are five some are twelve so um, let's um, just get rid of those bits and what we've got here, and you can see it's dark at, uh, at the front. Um, and what you have to do is very carefully, if I bring this closer here, um, we need to, it's got little clips and you'll need to just carefully, and it's a bit easier if I'm not trying to film this at the time, at the same time, just put a screwdriver under there and just pry this apart carefully. I hope I'm showing this. I keep using my watch as a, as a camera remote control. That's why I just keep looking at it every now and again. I can actually see where I'm at. So this is coming apart. I'll just put it back on the bench. And be careful with this because you, you might want to use the metal frame again. So um, I've taken that, uh, that apart. And what I've got to now do is remove the black LCD panel because I only want to use, and I've not done this one before, they're all a little bit different. So you've just got to be just sort of careful because all we don't want this black part of the panel we just want the backlight section for this so that's um, the uh, the uh, back panel be careful of the edges because it's glass usually and um, you can cut yourself so but this part we throw away with the rest of it uh, we'll keep the frame because you might want to use the, the frame back on it again and 
what we have here is, and you carefully remove this, is the actual wire cabling. And I want to try and just remove this. This requires a little bit of careful maneuvering. And this is the bit we want. Now, did I mark that? No. That's so. That's the part that uh, that you want. Um, it's um, you're going to obviously make a frame for your lithophane to mount this in. This one's got a nice long uh, piece of wire. You may take this black frame off, or you may assemble it back into the metal frame with a little spacer or something um, to uh, take up for the glass. Uh, and then just mount that in. So you may put this back into the metal frame and um, secure the metal frame again, maybe with a little bit of, I don't know, um, foam around the edge to, uh, to, make, to compensate for the fact that it doesn't have the glass in it anymore. But um, I'm gonna take this over to the bench and I'm going to power it up and I'm gonna determine whether this is a 12 volt or a five volt supply. So now I'm back on my workbench with my regulated power supply here. This is um, adjustable and everything, so let's just sort this out. Okay. Get all that stuff out of the way. I'm just going to cut these two wires off because I don't want it. I won't be using that connector. Strip these uh, back so that I've got the bare wires exposed. Now, what I don't know is if this is 12 volts or five volts. As um, it mentioned on the back of the, um, the enclosure, it said it was five volts. So I'm going to be assuming that this LED display might actually be likely five volts. So I'm going to take, wind my volts back on my power supply here to five volts and we'll just connect the power. And if it comes up pretty bright, then we'll know that it's five volts. So negative and positive and we'll just see what happens. Absolutely nothing. As I mentioned I had this set down at 5 volts so this display is probably going to be 12 volts so I'm just winding up the power supply voltage at the moment and now it's starting to light up so you can see now I'm currently at 10 volts that's 12 volts so this is definitely a 12 volt uh, supply there is obviously a little um, DC to DC converter in the electronics of the rest of that um, uh, panel that uh, bumped up the five volts to 12 volts. But I was careful, I put it at five volts. Obviously, I'm backed it down to five volts again. It uh, doesn't light up at all. So it's just a worthwhile being careful. Now that's up at 12 volts, you can see that's a nice, even light. And again, I'm being careful with this so that I don't pull it apart. What I've noticed is the LEDs on this are at the side, coming from the side, and I can feel the warmth of that uh, already. One of the uh, things about having this in a metal enclosure is the fact that uh, the metal will be making contact with the back panel of this and uh, adding some cooling to it. So that's a good thing to keep in mind when you're using this these for, uh, for your lithophanes to uh, add some add some cooling to it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
I'm going to take the chance. Normally I would just put a bit of tape around this just to hold thing together. I don't particularly want to have it all falling apart. But what I'm going to do just to show you how these things are made up is to disconnect my voltage. And I'm going to, I'm actually going to pull this one apart for you. So what I've got is the frame for this. That's the plastic frame. And then you can see here is the little LED light strip. If I can disconnect that, I'll bring that a little bit closer. That's the um, LED light strip, which was at the side. Uh, that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine LEDs on it. So that's um, 12 volts. Now the way these panels are made up is that they're done in layers. So this has got a white layer at the top, which is giving diffusion. The whole thing is about the LED light traveling along this panel and then being diffused so that you get a nice even um, display. So that's the diffusion layer and a piece of acrylic that has been etched in a way, and if I, it's really impossible to tell, but if I look at that under a microscope, I can see that's been etched and it's got, it's got literally thousands and thousands of little fine lines, and on the edge, it's got a serrated edge on it. So if I just put that LED strip along there, let me light this up, so let me see. I've got that. So what I've got done now is that's that's the um, that's the little strip. I'm going to wind the voltage back a little bit because I don't. I want to just be careful with this. So that's a pretty bright. But when I put that against that edge. I can, I can actually see that this is made up of literally thousands of little dots, but the light is dissipating. It's a little bit brighter on that edge and it is dissipating. So, but if I put that on it, sorry, I'm That then evens out the light, and I've got a really nice um, even there light. There you go. That's how they're made up. I'll go across to the other bench and explain something else to you quickly before I wrap this video up. Disconnecting that. So this obviously needs its frame for it to work. So it's in its frame. Um, the LED lights go there and with this one I would be mounting the whole thing back in its metal frame so that it's all held together uh, nicely. What I've got here is a couple of other panels. This is a similar one to the one I just used. This is uh, 12 volts and um, I've got a bigger one here and I'm not quite sure what the size of this uh, this this panel is 230 millimeters in diagonal and the smaller one was 170 now I actually bought these panels on eBay as um, rejected uh, panels from a uh, from a supplier quite a few years ago so I don't in fact unfortunately have the um, the link to where I got them from anymore but um, if you uh, search around you will find find um, find them but to give you an idea of a different type this is the way this this is the way that this arrived and at the time when I found this supplier I bought about 50 of these things just so that I would have enough probably for all the projects I'll ever want to do so that was just a protection layer. And this is just another plastic 
protection layer. It's stuck onto the front. And then we've got our screen around the outside. And I'll have to put this together uh, more uh, more gently in the future when I finally. But this has got a bit different from the other one. This has got a clear Fresnel lens over the front of it. Um, the way. Uh, it's a bit hard hard for probably for you to tell but you can see that that's a Fresnel lens rather than the other panel I just pulled apart just had a diffuser. This has got a Fresnel lens which is going to give even better light, uh, light diffusion. And then it's got the white diffuser which you can easily see from uh, from there. And then it's the um, the LED uh, or not the LED strip at the bottom here. And then this is the piece of acrylic which is probably around about a millimeter, 1.2 millimeter thick, which will have all the engraved little dots in it, the thousands of dots engraved to it, which, which will spread the light out and cause the refraction of the light. And um, so the only difference between this one and the other one is that this had the diffusion layer, but it also had the uh, Fresnel lens layer on it, which uh, would give it even better light diffusion. So that's, uh, that's the different types. So most of the time you don't want to pull them apart because you don't want to get any dust or anything in there. But I've just done this just to show you how they're made up. It's got, a, it's got its plastic frame. These ones came to me without the metal frame around it. So um, I will have to make sure that I've got uh, some good ventilation um, to keep the whole thing cool when it's actually running. So that's the sort of thing you can use um, for your lithophanes and the sort of thing I use for my lithophanes. So tell all your friends that if they've ever got any of these um, photo frames that don't work anymore like the electronics might not work but at least it might still light up um, you can um, repurpose and uh, recycle the backlight for it uh, the same thing goes for laptop computers um, and um, navig navigation systems that might be in your car the smaller smaller screens they can all be rip them all apart, pull out the screens. Most of the time it's will be 12 volts and you'll be able to use them for your lithophanes. So that's just an idea. There you go. Okay. Hope you found that interesting.